All right, hopefully you guys can see me. Hopefully you guys can hear me. My apologies on the last stream. I tried to go live. Um, I didn't, apparently there was no sound. I don't know what happened there, but um, I am live. I'm on the Tracker Pro. If you were in the last one, come back. Um, join me on this one, guys. I, I don't know what happened on the last one. I'll give a, a little bit. Uh, there was a couple of you guys coming in on the last one, so I'll give a second. Um, so where else have you run your batteries down? I'll give a second for you guys to hop in on this one. Okay, so I switched up to the phone. I tried it on my GoPro 8 with the um, new media mod. I was going to try out the audio and stuff on it, but... Um, Apparently there was no sounds. I don't know what happened. So hopefully, hopefully you guys can hear me fine on this one. I'm gonna try it again. I am live from the Tracker Pro. Okay, perfect. Thanks, MK Outdoors. I appreciate that. All right, so hopefully you guys can hear me. I do have the wind, a um, little bit of wind out here, but hopefully you guys can still hear me good. I am live. I'm on my boat right now. Um, I'm not on the water on my boat, but I'm. I am on my boat right now. Um, where I got it stayed at, where I got my boat staying at during the uh, winter time. Hey, what's up, uh, Latino fisherman? What's up? What's up? Um, huge shouts out to everybody in the stream now. If you could hit that thumbs up button, um, I appreciate you guys coming in the stream right now. Um, I'm on the boat. I'm on the Tracker Pro, so I always get a lot of questions about my boat. I get a lot of questions about the boat. It's a smaller boat. It's not a big boat. It's a 16 foot boat. Um, I've used it to fish tournaments on the Potomac, on Lake Anna, on the Rappahannock, uh, Smith, excuse me, Smith Mountain Lake. Um, uh, I fish tournaments with it anywhere, anywhere, any of these other boats fish tournaments. I fish it in my boat. Um, like I said, it's 16 foot. It's got a 40 horsepower Mercury engine on it, uh, four stroke. Um, the four stroke it makes it happen. Um, 16 foot is small. I can, I can get around to about 32, 33 miles an hour with the 40 horsepower. <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, I can get, I can get to about 40. Oh, let me shout out what I got. So Dream, you guys know Big Bass Dream. Um, Blue tungsten i got the face shield on obviously everybody's a little prepared about you know different things on i like most of america just have allergies and when i get outside and people like if they got grass and stuff everybody cutting the grass on the second and the third allergies be burning me up so I'm, I'm trying to cover up myself from some from some allergies at this time but um hey what up bo pitbull what's up what's up appreciate you jumping in the stream so like i said i get a lot of questions about the boat different things that i've done to the boat what mods i've done to the boat um anything that i do differently with my boat than most people so i figured why not do a live stream come to you guys on a sunday afternoon everybody ain't got nothing to do i just got out of church i thank god for another uh, another great day um but i'm out and uh, let's let's talk a little bit about the boat so here i am it's a 20 it's a, my boat is a 2016 tracker pro 160. um yes i have put it in some places it's probably a little bit suspect um i try to squeeze it in the little tiny places if i can um, I run it in big water if I can, as big as I possibly can handle um, to a certain extent. Um, I've made some mistakes. I've learned from my mistakes. I've done different things, this, that, and the third. So um, it's, it's, it is a learning a learning tool when you see these big fiberglass boats and they're fishing a point and they just sit still. And then I try to go fish the same point in my 16 footer and I'm blowing down the bank. Um, so when I first got the boat, it comes with a 45, uh, 45 pound thrust trolling motor. Hey, Hollywood, what's going on, man? Um, so when I first bought my boat, it came with a 45 pound tusk stolen motor. I couldn't even stay put on a daggone reservoir. Like I literally getting blown around on just a regular old reservoir with the 45 pound thrust. So one of the first things I upgraded was a trolling motor. I put a 65 pound thrust Minn Kota Edge on here and I haven't had any problems getting around. Obviously it's not a 112 and four tracks with spot lock. It's not all that, but the 65 pound does its thing yes all is well all is well today we're staying safe safe from allergies and safe from coronas um practicing social distancing definitely ready to get out there 100 percent for sure can't wait um i'm going through today i gotta start cleaning up my boat trying to get my stuff situated here a little bit because this i'm gonna be going out i mean obviously if they lock us in the house I'm, I, it is what it is I, my boat's coming out as soon as it can come out so um I'm going to take you guys a little bit around the boat. Um, I'll show you guys because we're right here, right, first of all. So I have a charger for it. It didn't, when I bought the boat, it doesn't come with a charger. It doesn't have an onboard charger. So you have to get your own. I got a little system here because I have three batteries on the boat. So I did add a battery to what comes with it because I turned my trolling motor. Um, the first thing you have to do is turn it from a 12 volt system to a 24 volt system. So I have a 24 volt system on my boat. 
so I can run a powerful trolling motor. And I had a Humminbird Helix 9 mega side imaging on here as well, in addition to a, a Helix 5 on the front. Yeah, 65 pound does does its thing on this boat. This boat, like anything more, and you could maybe go 70, 80. I've seen some John boat 16 foot with like 112. I'm like, what the world is going on here, man? You just put a motor on the thing. Like you already, <laughs> you're you gonna be getting about 15 miles an hour. Like I don't, so 65 pound does fine with my boat. It keeps me on all the spots I want to stay on. It can get me through some lily pads. It can get me, it can, I, if I get a fish on deep end somewhere, I can go get them no big deal but for the trolling motor i mean for the charger it doesn't come with so i added a dual uh mk 210 from Minkota. that's my charger for it um i do like i mentioned i have a graph when you buy this boat at first it comes with like a, basically a screen that just it just keeps showing pictures of fish that aren't real um it's a just a piece of junk that the 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 um gps thing that comes with the boat so you gotta obviously update that right away i think most of you guys that have a boat or had a boat know that whatever they sell it with unless you tell them you want something different um it's gonna come with it's whatever things gonna be it's gonna be junk so i upgraded that right away i have a helix 5 at the bow i have a uh helix 5 up at the at the at the front helix 5 right here um i had a bigger helix but i, I took that one off and i just got the regular one i have a gps and whatnot up here and i have like down imaging or something up there um it's it's fine it does it does what i need to do uh, most of the time I'm fishing really shallow in grass anyway, so it don't matter if I got to get deeper. It shows me enough to get me to what I need to get to. So I'm going to kind of hopefully bring you guys with me. I think someone that asked me on the last one, was I going out on today? I may. I may. It's un undecided at this point. So I'll show you guys the back. Like I said, I got to clean this bad boy out. But I, like I said, I have a two battery system. So there's one battery, two batteries to turn in 24 volt. And there's my third battery. So a lot of people always ask me, where did you put that other battery at, man? Where'd you put the other battery at? So I put it on that side, mounted it kind of in the little bracket on that side, put one on this side, then I have one all the way in the back. My gas tank gets about five to six gallons, so I ain't going nowhere far, guys. That's not a thing. Um, I have my, mic my power pole, micro power pole anchor, my anchor spike right there. I kind of tuck it in the side, kind of like you would put your fishing pole, because I don't have a rod locker and all that stuff um, for my net. I usually slide my net right here. I may put a little hole back there. I'm, I'm undecided at this point, but right now I put my little net right there. And what really helped me this year, because fishing on the Potomac, you gotta always measure the fish. I put a little ruler right there. So basically I slide it right into this little compartment. Boom, time to get the thing, pull it out, ready to rock. Um, I have my life vest and other stuff stored under there. You guys can see these two poles, two little wires running into my live well. So what I've created is my own little aeration system in addition to what comes with it. So I have two boxes that pump the bubbles inside my live well. In addition to my water, mine's just a circulation system. So it just keeps circling water around, but it doesn't like do like what I needed to do. So once I added the, the bubbles going into it, it's just a little hack. It's nothing serious. I didn't, I didn't actually mount anything. Cause I'm not sure how long I'm gonna keep this boat guys. Obviously, um, if I can get it going, I probably will sell this boat tomorrow and get the Ranger boat that I want. But um this is what i got for now so people are asking they're asking I'm, I'm trying to share and let you know uh shoot let's do it hollywood let's do it um i did upgrade my trolling motor cord here guys for anyone that's wondering i got the th marine that red cord um i added these little pieces here to keep my rod still I, i've lost like a cashing rod in lake Anna. if you guys want to go look at lake Anna, i've lost a cashing rod and a lose rod with the lfs reel at Lake Anna that blew off the boat because I didn't have these straps. I just left them up here, took off. Next thing I know, my, my rods are going the other way. I added a little piece here onto where my seat is, where I, I store my little tools at. I just put it right there. I may mount something right here for it, but I haven't done it yet. Um, but I keep that little piece there. You guys see my RBT sticker? I obviously need a new one. The, the weather has not been nice to my boat. Again, this is the Minn Kota Edge. I got the red cord. Um, what I did add here, of course, a lot of people have is the TH Marine, that, that prop, that the, the, whatever this bolt thing is to try to keep your trolling motor down. I also added, this is the grass, grass, uh, weedless, uh, blade for this deal. And then I added, um, this little silencer thing on here as well on the trolling motor to try to keep it quiet. Um, got a little tie off rope here. This is the front electronics right here mounted on a little, little bracket. This is my power pole micro power pole buttons stomp dump bump bump twice uh, down up down 
and my micro power pole will go up and down nice and easy um and honestly guys that's pretty much it that's all i've done to the boat i'll show you guys the motor mercury four stroke like i said my boat i gotta clean it up guys it's been sitting um i gotta take it from the place i have it stored at and get it and i got it back now so i gotta try to get it all cleaned up this is the dash you can see it says it can go 65 but that's a lie um yeah i got the micro power pole um hummingbird helix 5 sonar gps um lights build aerator a uh, little deal there this is where i store all my tackle obviously i keep it all in the back right here there's a little compartment under the seat you can keep some stuff in but i've had issues with that getting really wet it's terrible so um i kind of hate that box personally this is the actual aerator with the i mean the yeah the live well with the cow close conscious clips like i said the bubbles leading up in here that guy saved me a lot that saved me a ton when it came to my fishing that saved a couple of fish quite a bit for me having those two systems going because basically when you cut this one on it just runs out water circulate water out drain but it don't it does not do anything for keeping your fish alive it's mostly for like a crappie guy that just wants some fish to go and go um take them suckers back home um this is the front electronics just the helix five really basic um power it on power it off when i hop up on the trolling motor i did mount it i did screw it in down i haven't made like a hole in there but i screwed it in down to where um it can stay put because that again that's not done it just slides around when you get it there's a couple things like i said i gotta clean it up guys um it's doing all right and then i've of course added my stickers favorite rods tracker hopefully you guys can see i know normally i just do these and i just stand still and talk but a lot of people keep asking about the boat they keep asking me different things about it so i want to share some information if i can with you guys 90 and it goes about 40 oh i guess i mean i don't know i've gotten 32 out of this bad boy i'm i keep it super light i did i it went slower when i first got it because i had a cooler in there that i kept because i would keep the fish in the cooler and then use the live well for other things but once i realized that the live well would work fine with the the bubbles got kind of going to it and my fish weren't dying at all like i wasn't having any issues except for if i get like a really big one in there it gets a little tough if i catch a limit right if i catch a limit it gets kind of tough but I've definitely maintained five fish limits. I've had them come back alive. It's been no, no big deal. But, um, oh, because of the V-hole. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. I've never had a V-hole. I'm, I'm familiar with them to a certain extent, but um, that, that makes sense what you're saying now. So uh, that's the boat. I just wanted to kind of do a quick walk around for you guys, show you a couple of updates and things that I've done to it. It still fires up good. It works fine. Uh, like I said, it's about a four-year-old boat now. Um, I still love it. It's, it's done done me well. It's my first boat ever. It's the first time I've ever gotten the wheel of a boat. The first time I've ever driven a boat is when I bought this boat. I bought it, took it to uh, Lake Anna, tried to run it a little bit, open up, do the motor break-in stuff. Um, took it to the Potomac, fished it to a couple tournaments. Uh, took it to Anna, fished more tournaments. Oh, see, that's exactly what you need, that wide and stable. That's one thing this ain't. This ain't it ain't super stable and it ain't it ain't why my deck is like so small it'll be one person up there you get you can try to get two up there but i hope each of y'all can cast with each of your hands because otherwise somebody getting smacked right upside the head i've reached back and cast back here and um i've reached back and cast back here and i almost almost somebody almost took my hat off and, So it gets, it gets kind of interesting on here because it's a little bit smaller. But it's still fun. It's a great boat. I love it. Um, I wouldn't trade it for the world unless I'm trading it for a Ranger. My next boat I want to get is either going to be a Vexus boat or a Ranger boat. I want to go with the Ranger RT198P, the aluminum 19-footer. Um, the deck is huge. It has plenty of space, rod locker. I'm keeping it pretty simple. My biggest thing for the next boat I get is going to be the electronics, um, electronics and the, um, the trolling motor. So I want, the, of course, something where I can stay... The Vexus boats are really nice. They're like a mix of fiberglass, aluminum, but they are really nice and remotely affordable, all things considered. So, um, Vexus boats, check them out. They, you'll 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 dig them. I know a guy that's got one, um, and he he showed me a couple of pictures of it. His boat is nice. Like I love that boat. It looks really good. I wish I had that boat, but I don't have that boat. He's got a really nice boat, Vexus. Um, but I want the Ranger. The goal is to get the Ranger, add some blades to it, eight foot power pole each side um uh Minn Kota four tracks or or low rats ghost or the garmin trolling motor one of these really nice trolling motors that let you stay still and a quieter one because i hear the 
the Minn Kota is the 112, but it's um, it's noisy. The other ones are say they're quieter, brushless, things like that. So that's my big thing for the next boat is I want the trolling motor where I can stay on my spots. I want the blades so I can just drop them down, the power poles, and just drop them down um, and stay on my spot. That's the big thing. Cause it, it, for me, I love dock fishing, right? So when I pull up to a dock and I got this boat and the wind is blowing like crazy and I and my micro power pole does it fine when I use it. But for the most part, I, did, I didn't use it last season because of the way it has to be mounted on here. So I've got the brackets to actually mount it on here like it's supposed to, and I may use it this year, but most of this year I'm gonna be fishing out of someone else's boat. So I'm not even too worried about it, but I am gonna keep mine running, keep it, make sure it's good, take it out on some reservoirs and take it out to the Big Bass Tour if we have the Big Bass Tour this year. Um, but I really want some, um, I really want some different blades, um, the power poles and things just to help me stay still. And then I want some really nice electronics. So probably the Garmin Pan Optics, or I may do the Hummingbird Helix, or I may do like Jacob Wheeler with the, um, get the 360 image in for Hummingbird, but then get the Garmin Pan Optics to show me the fish and show my bait dropping down to them, things like that. That's gonna be the key pieces. So if I can get a used boat and then get the electronics put on it the way I need, or if I get a uh, still a used boat from a dealer and get the electronics put on it that I need before I pick it up, um, or just buy a used boat from someone after I get my buddies to take a look at it and test it out, and then find another buddy and see if I can pay him to get him to help me with the stuff on it. Either way, I'll figure it out, um, but I gotta do the most cost-effective way, but I gotta get what I want, because the next boat I get is gonna be the only boat I get unless I end up winning something and get another boat. I want the next boat I get to be the boat for me and for my kids, like it's gonna be the boat. Like there's, I don't wanna keep doing this boat deal over and over again. I wanna get a good solid boat, have it have what I want on it, and then just set it and forget it, basically. So with that being said, guys, uh, I think we're going to practice some more social distancing. Um, it's very nice outside. I'm going to go for a walk. Hopefully no one's near me for walking. Um, enjoy my time here. I wanted to show you guys the boat. Hop on live on a random time. I got more new videos coming out this week, so stay tuned. Some winter pond fishing, um, some early spring fishing, um, talking about chatter baits. I got um, some GoPro videos. I've got a couple of things lined up this week to hopefully some exciting videos. And I'm going to hop on live a couple of days this week as well. Um, just to just say hey, check in, make sure everybody doing all right, and share some more tips and tricks. So as always, guys, I appreciate you guys, my Bass and Furious friends. Thank you for tuning in today. If you ever have questions about the Tracker Pro and what I'm doing, comment below. Again, my channel, all positive, guys. If you're coming on the channel with some positive, cool, I'll rock with you. If you're coming on there with negative or wishing bad or or speaking bad, I'm not gonna rock with you. And I'm gonna very, I'm gonna speak up very quickly and I'm gonna say exactly what I need to say because I'm trying to be positive. That's like my whole channel, like my whole deal. Like I'm not trying to start stuff and fires and put out stuff. I, I just want everyone to be positive, enjoy themselves and then talk junk occasionally. Talking junk is one thing, being negative is a different thing. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, the live stream, I may go out today. If I do, I may hop on live. I may try like I did last Sunday, try to catch a fish on live. I, maybe I can do it this time, who knows? I think I know how to catch fish. I mean, I've only called a three and a half and a four this week and a two and a two. I can do it. I don't know why I can't do it when the, I couldn't do it this one time. Every time I cut the camera on, I catch a fish. This time I cut the camera on, I miss a fish with an awful hook set because um, I didn't think it was going to be a fish there. I was hoping it was, but it, it's, I don't know what happened. I messed up. I made a mistake. I should have got the right hook set and I would have landed that fish. Every time I cut the camera on, I can catch a fish, especially Instagram live or YouTube. I can catch a fish. So. I got to do it again. I, I caught a fish earlier today before I saw you on. First cast. That was bad. I didn't want to catch on the first cast because then I didn't catch any of the next three casts. But first cast, chatterbait. Smacked. Took off. Just like that. So um, yesterday when I went, crankbait. Got him. Chatterbait. Got him. Chatterbait. Got him again. Back to back cast. Again. Back to back cast on a chatterbait. One smaller, one bigger. Like it keeps happening like that. And I love it. It's fantastic. So. I may try it again to go live, see if I can catch a fish for you guys. Stay tuned. The all red chatterbait. Yes, caught one on the all red chatterbait. Buzz pass, cracked one way on this side, cast all the way to the other side, end up catching another one on the red. Way like twice as big as the first one. Red chatterbait, I swear. And I was so glad I bought those red chatterbaits. I got them off discount tackle before they sold out. Red chatterbait has been money. Raise crawl, red chatterbait. But I've also caught a ton on a black and blue chatterbait. I've caught some on a white chatterbait. Um, I caught one today on a PB&J chatterbait. Um, white chatterbait, red chatterbait, black chatterbait. It don't matter. Just as long as the chatterbait, I sprinkled in the crankbait a little bit. But 
that red chatterbait i got the not even the red one that everyone's looking at i got a different kind of red one that's been absolute money every single chatterbait i have though has a raised menace or a raised bug on it and it works out good i even like it if you let the chatterbait just sink down like a regular jig and if it has a raised bug on it and the claws start going like this i had one light that up when it was sitting that makes sense man and like literally if you hop on ebay amazon any of these stores people are selling that jackhammer red one the fire orange looking one they're selling that thing for 50 bucks for one chatterbait one chatterbait i hopped in an auction to try to find that one it was 38 dollars for two of them now mind you the 32 dollars regularly it was 38 and the auction still had five days left so it's going to get above 50 or 60 bucks for two chatterbaits in that red pattern i got them for 12.99 right yeah, and people still going to buy them. People still going to pay for them. If I had five of those red ones, I probably would sell them right now because it don't make sense to keep them. I'll sell them for like 25 bucks each and make 100, 200, 100, 200 bucks off of them. Like, I, 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 literally, like, that thing is not going to be the end all be all of whether or not you catch a fish or not. And like Tanner just said, freaking make your own. How many, how many red skirts do we have? How many red jigs are there out there? Just take the thing off, take the rubber band, put your new one on and keep it moving it's really about where you put it like that's the biggest thing like where you put the bait versus versus like um the color plays a role don't get me wrong color plays a role but i can modify colors i can get a marker and modify colors like i did that yesterday matter of fact i'll show y'all this one i'll put it up on my instagram follow me on at bass and fierce i'll put it up i painted one with like weird colors on both sides just with the markers i had like with the um chartreuse the spiky markers i just used the spiky markers and dyed the tails on my bait weird really weird cover you can do it yourself i got a red marker too i can just color my skirt red with the spiky marker and then i'll be fine like it's okay you guys you guys got to be improvised at this time because everything's selling out and you don't want to have to improvise about toilet tissue but improvising about your jackhammer or your chatterbait or your uh your um what's the other one called the poison something what are these things called the booyah ones, like, just improvise with them. Take a skirt off of one, put on another. Mix it up a little bit. Good idea, Tanner. Thanks for sharing, man. Everybody needs to try that. I've already been trying. I, I didn't share. I should have shared. But, uh, yeah, everyone's trying it. There's no point. Don't 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 hem yourself up trying to find find that red one and spend 60 bucks on it. Like, that's just crazy. Make your own. You got an orange marker. I'm sure your daughter has an orange marker. Your son has a red marker. Go get a red Sharpie or a marker. Make your own. <laughs> And then add some different scent to it so you lose the marker scent. And then just go catch some fish. So, hope you guys enjoy. Enjoy this beautiful day. Get out there with your families, your friends. Um, stay six feet away from them. But, actually, don't get out there with anyone. Stay, in, stay, Get out there by yourself right now. Go get out with them. Send them a text message. And then get out there by yourself. Go catch some fish. Duck anyone that you see that comes near you. Because you don't know what they got. And then share your pictures so i can check them out. Tag me in them, too. Tag me in them so i can like all your pictures. Especially if i'm not liking them now, tag me so i'll check it out. Appreciate you guys tuning in, my Bass and Furious friends. Thank you all. Peace. Till next time.